fairly challenging strategy for young students. Um, older ones won't have a trouble, uh, we would certainly hope, but the younger ones may have some difficulty with this. So let's start with the question 11 minus 8. Now I'm saying minus rather than take away deliberately because we're not taking away. We don't have a strategy where we're going to count backwards by 8 or something like that, but we're looking at the two numbers and comparing them. So with a 10 frame, one approach to this would be, say, put out eight counters, and then we're going to see how many more there are in this amount here, this number here. Make this up to 11, how many more have we added? And we're using the second colour, um, and of course we can see it's three. Another way to do this, I'll change the question so that I can show it with the two 10 frames. Let's say 7 minus 4. We're comparing the 7 and the 4, so we'll have 7 on this 10 frame and 4 on this one, and you might prefer to put them next to each other, this might be clearer that way. Here's 7, here's 4, how many more are there here? So look at them visually, the student should be able to see the 4 at this end and see there are 3 extra. So that's another way of using the 10 frames to see the question. Using the number line, um, it's simpler because while we're counting back, we're not counting back this number, we're counting back until we get to that number. And so we're looking, we're really looking at the difference of two numbers as the strategy, strategy indicates. And um, we're looking at really how far apart they are on the number line or, or um, the number of gaps between them, if you like. So if we start from the seven and count back until we get to the four, there's the four. How many hops did we do backwards? The answer is three, so this must be the answer to our question. As I said, it's a little bit um, tricky for the students, so it'll probably take a bit of time to explain it to them.